So what I'm doing there guys, is I'm basically dulling down the brand newness of the bag and taking off the shine of the MTP. So if you can't even have got a mask on. Uh, I, um, let's spin this round perhaps whilst I'm recording, or can I not? I don't think I can, but just a very light coat of the car key. And all I'm doing is getting rid of the brand new MTP look of the bag. And you see as you lay it up, that will start to slowly dull it all out. And that's with the car keys paint all the way around. Not going too mad. But it's literally just taking the edge off the primary um the primary layer of the bag that the primary cover. I'm pretty happy with that. And sometimes, yeah, that's Right, that's pretty much dulled down there with the car key. So what I do now, because these are from Halfords, so that's the car key. So what I do now is I go to the brown. And I'll give it a nice uh, going over with that. And that's it's the diangular, diangular, eee. diagonal stripes across the bag. Don't go mad with it, because obviously you've got to do another coat yet. But this is darkening it down now. So as you can see from there. And that is literally it. Over the top. Nice side there. And you'll be amazed at how it changes the colour of it. Right, that's the brown. And then we finish up with the black again. Same again, camouflage black, matte black. Not a great deal left in this one, but and all you're going to do with that is literally just mix up the stripes you put on it. All around the bag. Literally just a crisscross, quite close to the black. And I can't help but think that this is adding a slight bit of waterproof into the bag almost. You think you are spraying a solvent onto the bag. So you're sealing up pores in the bag in the material. Any, just pop it, just move the bag around, any stupidly bright bits, I mean, I can tell you what now, because I haven't opened this lid, you'll see the difference in the colour. If I do that there, so if I pop this lid now, so you can see there, if I lift it up, you see the difference in the colour there, how bright that is, compared to what it is now. Just to dull it down that much, just to really blend, it really does help to blend the bag in. I mean, you can look there, if you look on the screen, here and here, how bright that is there. Literally, again, open the bag up. You don't necessarily have to do this part of the bag, but just want to keep it all the same, I would. Go around it with the car key, a little bit of the brown. And that's it. The job there, chaps, is a given. Leave it open to dry. Obviously, you've got your side pouches here. Again, you'll need a little bit of a coat if you want to. Get that open. Turn the bag around. Again, it dries super quick on this, so you can touch it, it will pretty much instantly after you've painted it. Just go around, get all brand new in there, give it a good dusting. And that then, get a black on there as well, for good measure. And 
and that chaps is pretty much job done bye bye brand new bag